Lockheed Martin, a prominent defense corporation, has announced its intentions to increase the production of its military systems in response to escalating global security concerns. This decision comes amidst ongoing tensions between Russia and Ukraine, unrest in the Middle East, and apprehensions regarding potential military actions by China. Lockheed Martin aims to double the production capacity of its high-mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, having already raised its output from 48 units annually to 60. By the end of 2024, the company plans to achieve an annual production rate of 96 HIMARS units. Additionally, Lockheed Martin intends to ramp up the production of its Javelin anti-tank missile system from the current rate of 2,400 units per year to nearly 4,000 units by the end of 2026. Furthermore, the company aims to increase the delivery of guided multiple launch rocket systems, GMLRS, from over 10,000 units this year to 14,000 units annually by 2025. To meet the growing defense demands, Lockheed Martin is investing in expanding the production of its Pac-3 MSE air defense missiles, with a target of reaching an annual production rate of 650 units by 2027. In addition to these production plans, Lockheed Martin's financial performance has shown significant growth. In 2023, the company reported net sales of $67.6 billion, compared to $66 billion in 2022. Its net profit also increased to $6.9 billion, or $27.55 per share, compared to $5.7 billion, or $21.66 per share, in 2022. The company's backlog reached a record $160.6 billion, indicating sustained strong demand for its technologically advanced defense solutions. The High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, is a mobile artillery system designed in the United States, offering versatility in launching various munitions. Capable of launching six MLRS series rockets or one Atticms tactical missile, HIMARS provides a swift and precise response to battlefield threats. With protection against light arm fire and shell splinters, HIMARS ensures safety for its crew. HIMARS is utilized by numerous countries worldwide, including Australia, Canada, Estonia, Finland, Jordan, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Singapore, Ukraine, the United Arab Emirates, and the United States. Its versatility and effectiveness have gained international recognition. Weighing 10,886 kilograms, the vehicle can reach a maximum road speed of 85 kilometers per hour, facilitating rapid deployment in conflict zones. Equipped with a firing control system enabling high precision, HIMARS boasts varying firing ranges depending on the type of ammunition used, up to 45 kilometers with the ERMLRS rocket, 70 kilometers with the extended range guided GMLRS rocket, and up to 300 kilometers with a tactical missile. This capability enables engagement of long-distance targets, supporting military operations across diverse combat environments. Operated by a crew of three, HIMARS has dimensions of 5.046 meters in length, 2.16 meters in width, and 2.251 meters in height, making it relatively compact for a mobile artillery system. This compact size allows HIMARS to swiftly maneuver on the battlefield, providing mobile and adaptable artillery support for ground forces. The conflict in Ukraine has heightened the demand for HIMARS systems, with these rocket launchers playing a pivotal role in the battlefield, enabling Ukrainian forces to target locations tens of kilometers behind Russian front lines. In response to this increased demand, Lockheed Martin plans to boost HIMARS production to 96 launchers per year, up from the current 60. This decision follows the United States' delivery of 20 HIMARS units to Ukraine, significantly impacting ground operations.